Welcome to Translogic. I'm Jonathan Buckley. Motor City is known for just that, motors, and for a rich manufacturing history. We cruise the streets today and you'll notice a two-wheel takeover. We're talking bicycles and lots of them. There's a strong biking community and even some quality manufacturing alive and well in Detroit. Before we get started, I want to draw a couple of parallels here. I don't know if I'm correct in saying this. So Henry Ford II. In the flesh. Yep. Now, your first bike that you offered here, Detroit Bikes, was yes. the A-Type. Correct. Only offered in black. Correct. Henry Ford made the Model T, offered it only in black as well. Correct. Is there something going on here, or is that just in my It's an absolute, purposely done model behind Henry Ford and his production. It has established Detroit as a city primarily as a manufacturing city. Yeah. And the idea that we're trying to do here at Detroit Bikes is to get that re-established as Detroit being a production manufacturing city. Detroit Bikes is proud to be here and, and building everything right here in this 50,000 foot. Everything. We, we take raw material, we cut, we weld, we cope. We paint everything. Our long-term goal is to be the number one producer of bikes in the States, hopefully soon to be the world. At $699, mm -hmm. obviously, you'd be expecting a lot higher quality, wouldn't you, than say some of the Chinese bikes that you're gonna find in various big outlets. Absolutely. Our A-Type, specifically built for city biking, very durable. We uh, warranty our frame for a lifetime. Right, so we're here at the clubhouse of Eastside Riders with the founder and president of the club, D. Wayne Neely. Right. Good to meet you, mate. Thanks for having us over at the clubhouse. You've got quite the collection here. Yeah, we've been working hard at this yeah. for a while now. It, it, a bike, it don't come together overnight. 2008, you guys got started with this, was yeah. it, rather? Yeah, this, this is the clubhouse where we fix and repair. I got a fix and repair uh, license for here. Yep. Pretty much, it, it, it had not been a bike we couldn't fix. How do you come up with the ideas? People come to you and say, hey, Dwayne, I need this. Yeah, riders, they come up with an idea and we try to do what they really want. Like, you see a Tweety Bird in there. I'm quite a big fan of the green bike, was that? Is that maple leaves that you've got on the green bike? Basically, uh, she she wanted that bike built. It's a marijuana bike. We're gonna just say what it okay. is. <laughs> yep. Well, it's a lot of fun to ride around the factory on the A-Type. I gotta say that you can definitely feel the quality and that's the difference between buying a bike that's handmade and manufactured right here. It's definitely different than anything you're gonna buy from any of your big department stores. And it's simple. It does everything that a bike like this should do. And I'm a really big fan of the skinny tires as well. It's just super smooth. The gear changes, three speed. Again, you just click them over. You can barely even feel them change gears because it's inside the hub. It's an internal geared uh, three speed hub with a coaster brake that most of us remember from childhood. It does great skids, by the way. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And then of course you've got foot brakes, which as we all know, is fantastic for doing skids. <laughs> and even though this bike's not built for it, it actually does pretty good wheelies too. <laughs> Obviously, we're gonna be able to get these bikes here in Detroit. What for happens sure. with the rest of the country and even the world? We do ship uh, internationally or domestically. You can order directly from our website. So far today, we've got just over a thousand bikes produced and on the road. That being done with a limited crew of seven individuals, we've increased staff to achieve our goal, eventually of 30 to 40 to 50,000 bikes yeah, per year. Incredible, so you're gonna see a substantial amount of growth over the next 12 months. Correct, yeah. absolutely. And I know Detroit's gone through some hard times over the last yes. few years. Companies like this, I think there's a very bright future for Detroit. And you guys are contributing as well to this huge bike culture that's starting to emerge with things like the slow roll. Absolutely. Uh, biking in the city of Detroit has exploded. We went down on the Monday night. I think it was prom night was the theme. There was this overwhelming sense of community that mm -hmm. was going on and the way it was organized so well. I mean, you're a member of the board. Correct, I'm a part of the squad. Two gentlemen, uh, Mike McCool and Jason Hall, they're the co-founders of Detroit Bike City that, 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 that started this. Tell us a little bit about uh, what was the ethos and the idea behind Detroit Bike City. It was a very simple thing. It was me and this guy riding bikes together. We went from this little bike club to an entity that we really couldn't even describe, and then we started Slow Roll, 
and we just really became super event-based. She seems to be taking off not only here, but now in other cities across America as well. Yep, yep. Globally. <laughs> Globally, we're actually right now in 10 cities. We're four in Sweden, we're in Iraq, Berlin, and then in the U.S., we're in Buffalo, Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, Chicago yeah. starting, so DC. yeah, D.C. What do you think it is about this bike movement right now that's getting so much attention and getting so many people involved in it? The young people and urban areas in general, cities are really changing. Uh, there's a whole new way to look at how you get around, and cycling is not only become more efficient, cheaper, healthier, easier way to get around in an urban environment, it's also really cool. You've obviously kicked a massive goal with the slow roll. You do it every Monday night and you're averaging over 3,000 people per week. That's incredible. What we do every week is we pick, we pick a different restaurant or bar that needs our help that usually isn't even open on a Monday. So when you talk about being able to bring three to 4,000 people to a business or a region like yeah. that economically, you're not just talking about diversity, you're talking about real hardcore finance that's happening in the city of Detroit and what we need. And, and when you're talking, we're right up there when you're talking about the Tigers, you're talking about the Red Wings, we're bringing revenue to the city. You do a lot of stuff for the community as well, don't you? Uh-huh, we help with the garden around the corner sometimes and we pick up trash, we feed the homeless with that grill. The you, grill bike. <laughs> you, you're not gonna get one of my t-shirts if you don't do no community service. Right. You're not gonna get a jacket, you're not gonna get a hat, you're not gonna get nothing if you don't do no community service. You have your own special ride, the Eastside Riders Night, so why is it you think there's been such a resurgence in cycling? It just done blew up just crazy. I can't explain it. They say, oh, Detroit is dangerous. Every city is dangerous, but all in the same time, when you own these bikes, it's nothing but love. Looking around as well, you can see there's a whole cross section of the community there. I mean, there's really people from all walks of life that are coming together just to ride bikes. Detroit has always been diverse. There have just been things that have made people sort of shift in different ways, but we've always wanted to live next to each other and hang out with each other, and this ride was just the catalyst for it. Not only do we get to experience on the ride, but you see people coming out of their houses, and it's not just a one homogenous group of, it's everybody, and it really has an effect on our riders, it has an effect on the people that see us, because it's, it's hope. While we're not going to make some kind of sweeping statement about how bikes are going to save the Motor City, community efforts like the Eastside Riders, the Slow Roll and companies like Detroit Bikes are definitely helping to keep this storied city and its cyclists moving forward. For TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. We'll catch you next time.